annual International Challenge of Champions in Uncasville, Connecticut. Mitch Lawrence, Hall of Famer Alan Hopkins, watching two great players go after a tremendous prize. Title of Champion of Champions and $25,000 winner take all. Darren Appleton at the table, leading 3-1 in a race to five in the second set. At least he didn't scratch. He's failed to make a ball, but he's rather fortunate because the two ball came down table right in between the cue ball and the one ball. He'll be forced to push out or, or try to play a kick safe. At any rate, it's not a good position to be in because I think no matter where he pushes, I think Darren, Darren is going push. to shoot. I don't care. I don't care where he pushes him just about. Always interesting to me the push out. A psychological shot for sure. Well, if Darren can bank this, he's going to shoot it. If he can bank it cross corner, but I don't think he can. I, there's a, a shot he might come to the rail here and kick it to one. That's one way of doing it. Could go to the bottom rail and kick it to one down, down table. He didn't take it anyway, so. Yeah, I don't want no part of this. Yeah, he's going to try to kick it to one, leave the cue ball behind the two, and send the one over by the six ball. He's got to watch out the five don't get in the way. Well, he hit a little bad, but he got away with it. Tremendous amount of safeties. The break has been really important in this match, Alan, in the sense that it has not been working. <laughs> the, yeah. the tables are just crazy. You know, for a while we saw break and runs. Who GC had five break and runs in his semifinal match. And all of a sudden now things again, because maybe because of the pressure, you hit it a little off on the break, and no next doubt. thing you know, there's no shots. No yeah. doubt about the pressure, Mitch. The pressure does show. He's going to play a safety here, just trying to hit the one thin and come down table behind the four and nine, and he. Hit it absolutely perfect. Great Notice shot, the speed. Great shot. Make the cuba come down to the bottom rail like that. And now we're going to see a one rail kick. And the one rail kick is going to be into here and try to hit the one, maybe try to make it. A lot of spin on the cue ball. He's going to left hand spin on it. And notice the cue ball just stopped. And that's a shot we, we play. Actually, a lot of people think you get lucky there, but we play to try to hit the one ball full so the cue ball stops with that spin. And he's rather fortunate because the one ball doesn't have a pocket. Notice the four ball and the eight ball are blocking the pockets. We'll play a safety. Got a little lucky there. That happens, though. <laughs> a little lucky, but we're going to see a jump shot now. UGC at the table, second set down 3-1 in this race to five second set. Darren Appleton has just played a safety and Huji is going to the jump cue. He will try to jump that cue ball over the nine to the one in the center of the table. Excellent shot. That and makes it. <laughs> oh, it's such a cool shot. Yeah, Beautifully yeah. done. <laughs> one right in the side. Oh. I'll tell you, it's a little before my time. I didn't have that in my time, you know, but I think it's a great addition to the game, uh, shooting over the balls like that. Changes the game totally. You know, I think a lot of people weren't aware that the jump cue was always around. No. I really mean, it wasn't always around. I think they thought it was. Yeah, I mean, to use a jump cue, it's like having a sand wedge, you know, in, uh, <laughs> in golf. Let's take another look, Alan, at this Here board by Perfect. Eugene. Hits it at the perfect angle, brings the cue ball to the bottom rail, leaves an angle on the cue ball. Well executed there. I wasn't really happy about that one, but he'll take it. Leaves himself a little bit of a tough cut on the four. Just to worry about the speed at which he hits this, because the five ball and the six ball are close together, so it won't hit it hard. Nicely done there. Notice the speed. He wants to bring it over to the rail so he can shoot the five next. Ask for the bridge. Frank Del Pisa will gladly give it to him. It'll be interesting to see if he draws this back or, or follows the two rails. I wonder if he made his decision yet. He's drawing it back. 
now you're going to see a, a, an interesting shot. And he's going to hit this thin and try to come around and down the table or over over on the other side of the eight. Either side, he's, whatever side he can come. Looks like he's coming. Chow? In between. Oh. Everything comes short. All right. Right yep. there, an eighth of an inch difference, and he's in okay position instead. Length of the table, and both balls on the rail. Well, that just cost him right there. That, that, this is big right here. He has, he has a little bit of a save. He can hit the seven ball and try to send the seven down here and put the cue ball over in this area by the eight. But he has to hit it so good, it's a tough shot. Extension? Well, he's going to try to kick it in. He's going to try to kick the ball, one rail, and try to make the seven. That's tough to do because the nine ball is right there. He may hit the nine first. Oh, oh great try. Great try. <laughs> that was a fantastic <laughs> attempt to get out of a tough situation of his own making. Well, Mitch, all I can tell really you, good. it was a fabulous attempt, but I can tell you one thing. It looks like we're going into sudden death. And well, I'll tell you, Darren's oh. got to be thrilled right now. <laughs> oh. Well, not yet. Not yet. He hit that a little easy. I mean, I think he's okay. He'll follow this ball and come back into the center of the table. All he has to do is make sure he makes the eight. But he is taking his time. That Excellent shot. Really good stroke. Excellent shot. That was a veteran play. Just stopped, took an extra little bit. This nine ball for four racks in a row. And as we have seen so often here in Uncasville, things have changed. The second set now, Darren Appleton one rack away from sudden death. The work inside yeah. the Wolf Den at Mohegan Sun. Up above, epic design, beautiful spot. And here at table, pressure, pressure, pressure. Darren Appleton at the table with a chance. To end this second set, the break in rack seven, leading 4-2 in a race to five. One in the side, five in the corner. Look out. And he may. Five went in the corner, one ball went inside. The cue ball's coming in a slow up. Looks like he can hit the two ball, but does not have a pocket for the two ball. Looks like the nine ball is blocking the pocket to make the two. He's looking at now, he made it off the six ball. And what he's looking at is hitting the two into the edge of the six and trying to make it. That may, he may try that. Be interesting to see if he tries that. Talk about confidence. He's going to bring the cue ball back down table. It's, pre it's pretty much, uh, looks like a pretty decent shot. Unless he wants to play the nine ball. Good time for that timeout. Remember each player's rack. Needs to take time here. We're going to play the two thin and go back down table by the three. Exactly what he did, bringing it over there behind the nine. Well executed. Now, even though he can hit the two directly, as you see the two balls right here, he can hit it directly, but he cannot make it in that pocket. The nine ball is blocking the angle. He's probably going to try to bank it again. Tried to bank it safety and put it down by the three and. He didn't like that because it's down by the three now. All he has to do is make the two, and he should be on the three. Pocket the two ball. Looks like he can. Maybe a little curve on the cue ball. I'll tell you in a second. No, he can make the two. I don't think he'll hit this too hard either. Got it. That gets on the rail. He's okay. <laughs> he's talking to it the whole way. If you want to call it, that, yeah. he's okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really, it's uh, this is not an easy shot. He's going to have to follow this ball, put a good stroke on to get back down table for the five ball. Excellent shot. Excellent shot. That's wow. the stop. Great play. Great play. Under the circumstances, that's as good as it gets right there. Oh, right? unbelievable. Notice the speed is perfect. 
cut the angle to get on the cell. Oh, unbelievable. Um, great shot. Those are the shots that Darren has been making. Whoa. And then, of course, Bar <laughs> bobbles that four. <laughs> that was too easy oh, for him. Man. Uh, that's just a, a mental lapse right there if you do that, if you miss that ball. It's... And you know what? That's what it's about, the concentration on every shot. I was going to say that we've seen him just make those shots like they were nothing. Right. That long, down-the-table shot, perfect position. And then all of a sudden... Here we are, yeah. the challenge of champions, yeah. <laughs> where the pressure just builds up. Okay, good work on the six. Well, he doesn't have the right angle nope. on the seven. It always is tough. It always is tough. Was okay, was straight in yep. fine. Comes back off that short rail for the eight. And this nine ball, and we're going to sudden death. This is what it is all about at the Challenge of Champions. <laughs> yes. A deep breath by Darren Appleton. And there you go. Identical scores. First set 5 2 for Hu GC. Second set 5 2 for Darren Appleton. We have sudden death. And here we go, it has all come down to this one rack, a sudden death tiebreaker here in Uncasville for $25,000 in the title of champion of champions. Darren Appleton on the left, Uji C on the right, and here is the lag for the right to break in the sudden death rack. And how important is this, Alan? Very important. I think the person who wins the lag is gonna win the tournament. Look at the lag, and he was practicing it earlier too, and it paid off. Well, Huji C won the lag in his semifinal match yes, and went on to win. He will have the break in the sudden death tiebreaker. All right, one rack for $25,000 in the title of champion of champions. Here's our tiebreaker format. We had a lag. It was won by Huji C. He will have the break. They will play one rack. There'll be two timeouts per player in that rack. And the winner will take home twenty-five grand and the title champion of champions. A first-time winner for sure. One of these two great players will take it home, and trust me, it is a big notch in a championship resume. Huji C, 30 years old, from Rotterdam in Holland, the current World 10-Ball champion, and man, would he like to add this title. Obviously, so would Darren Appleton. Here's the break. Well, he almost scratched, he but he didn't. Did he make a ball? He made a seven ball on the break, and we'll have a first chance to basically play a safe. <laughs> he has the one ball right here and the cue ball. He can try to bank, or oh, I think he'll probably play a safety, hitting the one thinner, bringing the cue ball down table, back in this area here, try to get behind the four if he can, making sure he doesn't scratch. He might even call the nine ball here. He could, he could, pl he could play the one ball, play the bank. It looks like he's going to be offensive here and go for it. Doesn't even want to play safe. Double bank. Did it go? No. Okay. Looks like he got away with it. Notice the six yeah, ball right in front, but we have a jump cue probably going to come out. I would think he's going to try to jump this or kick it at one rail. And if you can see, I'm going to show you, you may try to go to this rail and kick at the one and try to make it come down table here for position on the two. And that is probably an option he's going to do. I'm just making sure he doesn't scratch. If he hits the one too full, he could scratch down the opposite corner. Time out. Time out. Take his time with this. This is a legitimate shot. He can actually make this. And that's what he's looking at right now. Won't be hit real hard either. But it'll be hit with a lot of spin. A lot of left handing this on the cue ball, making sure he hits the one. And there it is, and he got away with it. Wow. Right. <laughs> he hit a little bad, but got away with it. That works. And notice the two is right in the middle of the cue ball and the one ball. There you can see it. Would you now, see standing there with the jump cue in hand? I don't think he's going to use the jump cue here. It's kind of a 
Wow, he's going to try to jump this. He's got to be careful he doesn't go off the table with the cue ball. I'm not, I don't like this shot. Although he does jump the ball rather well. Say, let's say if he knows something you don't right now, I'd have a lot of confidence at this point. How about oh, how excellent about shot. Wow. How about it? Fabulous shot. Wow, okay, what a, that's a $25,000 shot. Nick. Watch this, let's take another look. Jumps look the two, one in the corner. Oh, excellent. He has position for the two in the side, which is huge. Oh boy, oh, he's still not out yet. Three, four, five, a little tricky. Should be okay though, if he can stop right there where the three is. And he can just draw it back about two inches, maybe an inch. He doesn't want to be straight in on the four. That could cause a problem. I think he'll stop right there. Yep. And now he'll draw the cue ball in between the nine and the eight, making sure he doesn't scratch. Come a little close to his work there. <laughs> Oh, wow, I didn't like that. He doesn't like it either. You saw him just, that little arm move, oh, this is boy. what happens when you realize what's going on and all of a sudden you just jerk it a little bit. Now there's major work to do here. This like could be shot. the shot of the whole event for UGC right here. Yep. Wow, unbelievable. Well, the pressure, you know, the pressure gets to you. Wow. That was unbelievable. All he had to do is draw the ball back an, an inch. And you see his reaction, and he is feeling every bit of that right now. Here's another look. And he misses it a couple inches, almost banks it, actually. <laughs> Wasn't playing the bank, of course. You know what? We saw him earlier just spearing those, firing, firing them in. But instead, it is Darren Appleton with three balls left on the table. Now you just have to let everything happen. Try not to think about what's going on. This means so much to Darren. Talking to him earlier before the event. He knows he's had a fantastic few years, but this nine ball will really be special. And you'll see Darren when he wins it. This nine for the title. Yes! There it is. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Mitch. <laughs> a really really gracious Darren Woo! Appleton and a very disappointed UGC shaking his head can't believe it but that is one happy Englishman Darren wow. Appleton is your champion of champions wow <laughs> unbelievable Mitch <laughs> and now it's time for our super shot of the match brought to you by Simona's UGC at the table sudden death everything on the line this jump shot on the one a fantastic effort by Huji C. You see his reaction. And we thought that it might just be this time for the native of Holland. But the turning point of the match leading up to the five out of line and then that miss gave a chance to Darren Appleton of England to take home the big prize. Yes. And there it is, the nine ball. And here is what it's all about for Darren Appleton. The money will be spent, but this will go home to England with him. And it means everything. The trophy for the champion of champions presented by Mike Libero, the supervisor of event production here at Mohegan Sun. Congratulations, well-deserved to Darren Appleton. There is simply no event like it in all the championship billiards. The challenge of champions brings out the best. And this week in Uncasville, UGC had a great event, but it's about Darren Appleton, first Englishman to win the U.S. Open, first Englishman to win the Challenge of Champions.
The International Challenge of Champions is sanctioned by the World Pool Billiard Association. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Alan Hopkins, I'm Mitch Lawrence. Congratulations yes. to Darren Appleton, your champion of champions.